Hello guys, today we're at the, the month of next level's box office here. Um, it has at $62 million and $152 million international, so they won't say the until next Friday. But you can see here that the international, that the domestic sales is actually falling behind the average movie. Because no one was predicting the movie to grow 50, 60 million, 59 to 60 million opening week. It dropped 87%, which is usual for actual, it's, 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 you know, it's, this might be pretty conservative because, you know, Star Wars is coming up in a few days. Whether well, if you like Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker or not, we still know that movies are really well. We still know that Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker is still going to make money. It's still at least going to make some money. And it's also the, the Welcome to the Jungle, but Welcome to the Jungle did have the holiday Christmas week. So that means well, the next level will not be as leggy. We'll probably end up over 250 million. You know, we don't know the actual box of us here yet. Because I, I tried to get all uh, behind Welcome to the Jungle, but Welcome to the Jungle did come out on the holidays. So Monday the next one was getting a one week head start over Welcome to the Jungle. So it's kind of very unfair comparison. You know, you know, more better compared you know, or, you know, a movie like Aquaman is probably more better. Even a movie like Aquaman, which also came out on almost near Christmas, is another pretty, you know, lopsided comparison because they came out on that week. So, if you compare it to Fantastic Beasts the Crime of the Green World, it's also behind that movie. But that that movie did make more money its first week than Jumanji. And, event, and we won't, because we know it won't probably be rolled in this movie Fantastic Beasts the Crime of the Green World. But this is actually pretty concerning for a you know, week, you know, for the movie because you know we were open so strongly at the box office compared to the first movie's first weekend. Well, weekend, but of course, the Mon the, the Monty movie will probably have be one of those types of movies that have legs. Very big comparable movie is Sony's own Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. So this is another another movie made by Sony. It had similar, it had similar sales to the Monty, but for Christmas, throughout the Christmas weekend, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse had very great legs. It did. Okay, I know Strong Little Mouth Pie also helped this movie as well, but if you could per perform similar to Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, you could see it pass, probably pass two fifty million to nearly three hundred million dollars at the box office here, at the box office total. Um, yeah, as well, Night of the Museum, let's see how well uh, compared to that movie. Night of the Museum is one of the comparisons here. It's doing better than Night of the Museum, which added over $250 million boxes. Because, you know, these movies have the, you know, it's, the money's going to have the holidays. It's, it's, the holidays haven't hit this movie yet. It's doing very similar to Fantastic Beasts, Crimes of Grand World, but that will, but Fantastic Beasts of Crimes of Grand World did not come out during the holidays. You know, Spider-Man, Spider-Verse is the best comparison, even though it opened lower. Because it didn't really do too well at first, and the holidays picked this movie up and elevated to nearly $200 million at the box office as well. So, I guess when it's always copied, the only movie that the Monty really has to worry about is Star Wars and, you know, probably Spies in the Skies and Riddle Women. Oh, they're both coming out on Christmas. It doesn't really have to worry about Cats because we all know Cats is not going to do too well at the box office. Okay, Cats is not going to sell at the box office, okay? If you look at the, you know, Cats is going to be a movie that no one's going to watch at the box office. No one's going to watch in Peter's, okay? Of course, the critics are saying it's one of the best movies of the decade, of course. <laughs> you know, of course, the critics are saying it's one of the best type of movies of the decade. It's one of the... <clears throat> and of course, you know, oh, Taylor Swift. Ugh, I hate Taylor Swift. You know, you know, you know maybe it gets after, you know, the cat movie. If, that, if this movie is actually a success, hopefully that means they're going to be putting Taylor Swift in more movies, sadly, you know. You know, cats, no one's gonna watch this movie, even if the critics say it, because I'm gonna be like, what the hell is this? You know, what the hell is this movie, okay? Okay. I 
And of course, Cats will still have legs like, you know, Jamon Z. I don't think it's going to be that much of a flop. It's going to at least have some legs in the box office if it is what the critics are saying about Cats. <laughs> and what the audience is really saying too about Cats and the movie. But that's basically about about Zamunzi and, you know, cats. I'll talk about cats in a separate video. But that's basically it. Goodbye.